Matthew Simmons, and this is my wife, Stephanie. Stephanie. 86, FJ60. Uh, we've had it a little over a year. Yeah, and it was bone stock when, when I got it. It's uh, still uh, hadn't been modified at all, so uh, we've, we've done a good bit to it in the past year, but still have a long way to go. This is what having a hand crank will get you. I, I do all my own stuff, you know, and I like working on the old Toyotas. I have another 77 Corolla at home that my mom bought new, so. I don't know, these are just LED conversions. They're H Vision X H4 bulb conversions for the seven inch rounds. And then I've got a, lim a lifetime LED uh, bulb conversions in there. And then I've got a few LEDs and some of the running lights, but not, not all of them. Under the hood, still, still factory. it up here and there I've eliminated some of the smog equipment it's not required where we live and look at this what is that it's a pool joke it's all, all new suspension old man emu we've got heavy springs up front uh, mediums in the rear uh, the nitro charger shocks all new greasable shackles anti-inversion kit so the whole whole nine on the suspension I've got diff breathers on front and rear axles. I haven't done the transfer case on the transmission yet, but. Uh, not long after we got it, uh, the pinion seal started leaking. So I was like, hmm, maybe I should put an <laughs> air locker in there while I've got it apart. So we, uh, we, it does have ARB uh, rear air locker. I've got a little ARB uh, air compressor under the passenger seat. It's just tucked in there. We've got a case right there, but so my hose connection's right here. So I just I just run the hose out here and I'll just snap the door to you and it'll stay. And this goes in my rear rear locker. Um, Wants me when I get out of line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying something. Yeah. I'll just kick it on. It yeah, right. I got the first time Gabby did that with his. I was like, what is yeah, that? It's kind of fun having yeah. it in the cab. Um, <laughs> the GMRS antenna, a little mount I just fabricated out of some flat stock. It's not uh, a big deal, but the roof rack is built by me round tubing wow you made this yeah it's all steel it's not aluminum maybe one day i'll get around to doing aluminum just a couple this of is really good bins. work and the max tracks are just everything's just strapped on there right now i haven't got around to fabbing anything we were living in the low country so it's real muddy down there so i went with mud trains but yeah it's getting dark under here but this is our new awning it's a 270 degree awning that we built it's all steel um, but actually pretty lightweight. I think the whole thing is around 60 pounds. Oh wow, that is very light. Um, but it's a, it's a square tubing. Uh, but the mounting plates are, are kind of thick to make sure it's, it's good. But I mean, you can, you can lean on it pretty good. It's actually moving the roof rack. And our, our first night on this trip, it actually held up really good. But it did. Our walls are not staying on really well. We just have a Velcro, so they, we've got to come up with something a little different. We've got to experiment. But what it's all about though yeah this is really impressive yeah, i think this is it's a sunbrella material we um we started our our sewing machine sewing machine research about a year and a half ago yeah. um just because we kind of already had this in mind but we really weren't yeah. sure what it was going to be and we weren't there yet and i had never sewn before so we picked that out i started practicing and then i guess I know, matthew started doing the the 3D work up for the awning and yeah, I started drawing it in SolidWorks. Yeah, trying to figure out what we were gonna do. The hose just... is getting your seams. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and then also that. So what's the the purpose of this? The hole there nicely. Yeah, it just right. helps it fold and keeps it from getting hung up on these bolts. Our our holes should probably be a little bigger because it wants to hang up right there. Tell me about your living space. So. By day it's storage, by night it's bed. Yes. yes. <laughs> so what do you have here for, for sleeping arrangements? Um, we have the um, Big Agnes double, I think the Big Islander. It's a 15 yeah. degree. Mm -hmm. um, and then underneath it we have the X-Bed um, yeah, sleeping have... pads. That's tucked in the, um, the compartment that the Big Agnes comes with. And then yeah. just slide in. Yeah, and this is just an older 
sleeping bag on top of it just for extra extra pr insulation protection mm -hmm. and then also layer. those uh the privacy windows you guys have we have the plastic <laughs> corrugated um just at the hardware store and and kind of traced it all out to to be able to cut it just to fit each window um so if we didn't we weren't able to put up all the walls or didn't want to then yeah. we could just pop those guys in and and also like you said you got a light color so that right the so sun the sun will still come through um mm -hmm. in the morning and not be super dark yeah. yeah all righty guys well thank you for sharing i know a lot of people will love to see this yeah.